Hi and welcome back. I picked these flowers, these wildflowers, from my garden this morning and I think they're really beautiful. Um, and while I'm not going to um, try to paint them realistically, I mean, to be honest, that's certainly not my skill set at the moment. I'm not good enough to be able to do that. I'm going to try and paint an impression of them, a very loose, semi-abstract impression of them, just focusing on the colours and the shapes and painting sort of wet in wet in a very loose and abstract way. I'm wetting my paper um, in a sort of random way, mostly wet around the middle with a few brush strokes leading out to the side, a um, bit of water spray here and there around the edges just to give that a sort of ragged, uneven spray of water. And I'm hoping that that will help me to build up my random textures. I've picked out the main colours that I like from the photograph and I've chosen to use Prussian blue, lemon yellow and I shall use mineral violet as well. This is inky consistency Prussian blue, um, quite a lot of it and I'm mixing it up in my, with my bristle brush and then tapping the bristle brush to create large spatter drops which are running down the page because my board's at an angle of about 45 degrees. I've cleaned off my brush and I'm doing the same with lemon yellow. Where the lemon yellow is mixing on the page with the Prussian blue, it go, it's going a lovely shade of green. This is my mineral violet. I'm going to try and keep that just in this sort of central area and towards the bottom apart from that, um, that one spot at the top. I'm trying just to sort of build up the colors and the depth. This is slightly richer Prussian blue. Um, it's all still running and diffusing softly. I'm looking for very soft transitions here. And as the paper slowly dries out, I can add slightly stronger paint. This is Prussian blue and while things are wet I'm putting in some leaf shapes here and there using a, la a large um, Chinese calligraphy brush just to get these sort of rough leaf shapes. Some of them are going on to where the paper is wet, some where it's dry, so I'm getting soft and hard edges and some diffusions and you can see also towards the, the left side, where my hand is actually, sorry, I've just covered it, but you can see where there's dry paper and the paint is sort of stopping in kind of angles. When I move my arm, you'll be able to see it hopefully. And that's giving me some quite nice effects. Doing the same with these leaf shapes, using a mixture of lemon yellow and Prussian blue um, to give me a nice green. I don't want to put too many leaf shapes on at this stage, just enough to kind of um, give me a good um, overall underpainting. Um, I'm going to spatter on some of the green, mostly across that kind of bottom area where they're, um, where I'm going to put sort of just the impression of some, of some stems and things. There's a nice vertical water drip running down the page over on the left so I'm going to be inspired by that and pull down just some thin stems with Prussian blue and the green um, just here and there across the bottom of the painting. And all the time that I'm painting the paper is beginning to dry out so my marks and my paint are staying a bit more strongly. I'm tapping in some more spatter. This is lemon yellow, but it's mixed with a tiny bit of the Prussian blue. So it's a sort of very pale green or greenish yellow. This is some quite rich, but still inky consistency Prussian blue. You can see that it's diffusing, but it's staying a little bit darker than the rest of the Prussian blue. The idea is to try and get some really dark tones into those, what I'm going to be using as my main flowers in the middle. I'm not trying to paint the flowers, just the impression of 
the flowers. I'm quite liking the way everything's just diffusing and running together at the moment. With the soft and the hard edges is creating quite an interesting um, illusion of these flowers. And now over the the mineral violet areas that have diffused and, and turned quite pale, I'm dropping in some stronger paint just to add some variety of tone to the sort of mauvish flowers. And lastly, some very pigmented Prussian blue right in the middle of those flowers, those three. And it's still quite wet, still running down. So I'm going to um, lay my board down flat um, so that any diffusion that happens will just happen um, without it running down the page any further. And hopefully everything will stay looking the way it does at the moment. Um, I'm leaving it to settle for a minute or so and then I will add a few finishing touches while it's flat, a bit more spatter. This is the green mixed with lemon yellow and now I'm going to leave it to dry completely. It's dried and it's looking really lovely. Um, it's all dried back a lot paler than it was when I painted it, which of course watercolour does that. It usually dries back about sort of 30, 40% lighter. So now I'm going onto the dry page with some very well pigmented lemon yellow um, onto the dry paper so it won't diffuse and just flicking on some random spatter here and there um, just to bring a little bit more life to the painting and to introduce some really rich yellows that should make that blue pop out beautifully. I think yellow and blue um, together really work well. I'm now going to paint in some smaller leaf shapes using a small synthetic brush. Um, it's a synthetic mop brush uh, by the company Polina Bright. It's an Australian company and this is a lovely brush. Um, I'm just laying it onto the page and flicking it up with various shades of Prussian blue and lemon yellow mixed together um, to give me these kind of leaf shapes here and there. I'm going to try not to overdo it but I want to put enough in just to cement the illusion of this being um, a bouquet of flowers. Once I've got enough leaves in, I shall put some stems in to kind of join the leaves together. So I'm just imagining where the stems are going to go and painting my leaves in sort of a random way, but tending up towards the top of the page. I've changed to my rigger for my stems. This is a De La Rowney graduate rigger, uh, I think a number two, using that same green mixture and I'm not trying to join up the leaves, I'm just running through them randomly. I find that gives me a lovely effect if I'm painting these semi-abstract loose floral paintings. Then back to the Polina Bright synthetic mop and more of these lovely leaf shapes. And then back to the rigger, again, pulling up these straight, thin lines fairly randomly, just where I think it will add something to the painting. Coming up through these leaves here and up across the top at different angles. just the finishing touches now. 
think I'm quite happy with the way it's looking. Um, I want to be careful not to overdo it too much, to keep it looking nice and fresh and, and very simple. Just the last, the last few stems, I think, and then the last few leaves. And I think I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to call that finished for this um, loose flower painting. As I say, keeping it nice and simple. Um, hopefully, the more I learn about painting these loose flowers, then I'll, I'll gradually be able to begin experimenting with becoming a bit more detailed. But I think at the moment, I'm, I'm happy with this. I think it's fresh. It reminds me of my beautiful flowers from the garden, my wildflowers, um, even though it is just an impression. Um, and I really enjoyed painting it. And I hope you'll give this a go and um, you know, maybe sort of base it on the flowers that you've got growing in your garden or some that you've seen recently. If we look closely, you can see there's lovely soft and hard edges, some nice strong spattering, other areas where the spatter has just diffused out gently. Um, the colours have mixed on the page, which is lovely. And even though um, I've only used three colours, that's Prussian blue, lemon yellow and mineral violet, it looks like there's a lot more than that on the page. So I'm very pleased with the way these colours have, uh, have worked together. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, please give us a thumbs up or uh, subscribe if you haven't done already. And thank you so much to my lovely Patreon group who support this channel. I'll see you again soon and happy painting. Bye.